General Mills, home of Betty Crocker, America's First Lady of Food, and Gold Medal, the only kitchen-tested brand of flour, <laughs> present Valiant Lady. Hi, this is Wynn Elliott. Say, you know, I understand you don't make old-fashioned raised coffee bread very often because it takes too long. Well, gee, all that's been changed now because your first lady of food, Betty Crocker, has a brand new fast-mixing yeast bread recipe made with gold medal flour that everybody's talking about. You know, it takes only five minutes mixing time, just five minutes. And here, take a look at it. This is a tutti-frutti raised coffee bread, and it's just as fragrant and moist and tender as the old-fashioned yeast bread. Yet this was mixed in just five minutes, and it rolls right in the pan it baked in, too. And this new double-quick raised coffee bread turns out wonderfully every time, when you use gold metal flour. Of course, for success, to be sure of success, just make sure you use the flour and the recipe together, as Betty Crocker does. Now, let's see how gold metal turned out this variation. It's a cinnamon streusel. Boy, does it smell good. And those little jam puffs, don't they look wonderful? What do you say? Do you want the recipe for all these mouth-melting variations? Well, the recipe with eight variations is right inside your sack of gold metal flour. Why don't you try all eight? Especially these cute little jam puffs. Tell Helen if that's the way you want it. That's just the way I want it. I hadn't planned on anyone knowing about this, not even you, Bill. That secretary hadn't come in here and spilled the beans. Come on, I'll drive you home. No, I, I've got to see about that reservation. Well, then, do you mind taking the train tonight? I, I gotta get along home. Now, wait a minute. Come back here and sit down. You're in not that much of a hurry. Frank, I, I'd rather not. I didn't think you'd take it this way, Bill. I thought you'd understand. I wish it had never happened. You I'd think rather I'd, have not known about it. You'd think I was a criminal. That you caught me cheating on my wife or something. Good heavens, I'm just going to take a business trip to San Francisco. Is that a crime? By air. Against the strict orders of your doctor. Just this once, because it's important. Frank, what are you going to tell Helen? Well, I'm going to take the train to Chicago. I'll get a plane from there. Maybe the doctors are wrong. Maybe nothing is going to happen to you flying across the country. But, Frank, before you take off, something will have happened to you and Helen. Bill, you're making too much of this. All right, if I am, you have my apologies. But I feel like I've lost something I believe in. Something I've held dear to me many years, and, and I resent it. Bill. I resent knowing about it. Bill, Helen and I have kept many things from each other. Little things to make our marriage what it is. There have been other lies, if you want to call them. Not this kind. Exactly this kind. Flirting with suicide and not telling Helen? No, sir. Not this kind. A moment ago, you said some words about cheating on your wife. Frank, has it ever occurred to you that, that there's more than one way a man can cheat, even when he thinks he's being quite noble? Especially when he thinks he's being quite noble, and that's what you're doing. You're cheating on Helen, on your, your children. Bill. There are some things a doctor doesn't know. Things that he couldn't possibly know. Doc Hale is the best heart specialist around, and he's given you fair warning. Even the best heart specialist, with all of his electrocardiographs and the rest of his gadgets. There are things you know inside yourself. I don't get it. I know one thing right now. I've got to work fast if I'm going to leave Helen and the kids any security. What are you talking about? I've got to get to San Francisco quick to close the biggest deal I've ever had a chance at. Because, well, Bill, there's just not going to be many more chances. Oh. So you think you're going to... Brother, count me out. If that's the way you're going to talk, count me out, because I don't believe you. Do you know what you're doing, Frank? 
You're playing God. Playing God? That's a terrible thing to do. I haven't meant to do a terrible thing. It's not what you meant to do. But all the same, you're doing oh, it. Oh, Bill. You're not only saying that you know more than the doctor, but you're playing God Bill, over your Bill. own life. Bill. And playing dangerously with the lives of others you should hold dear to you. Don't you understand? All right, I... I won't tell Helen you're flying to San Francisco. I hope she never learns the truth. Now I'm going home. I suppose if the doctor says it's all right, if you're sure. Well, if it'll make you feel any better, call and ask him yourself. It wouldn't. You're just going to let it worry you, doctor or no doctor. Darling, I'm only fussing at you because Dr. Hill... I know, I know, I know. I've got to cut out traveling. Well, didn't he say that? You won't don't understand. You won't let me finish. You won't let me tell you what Elsie said. I'm sorry. Redheads are supposed to get mad. They never worry. <laughs> when their husbands say things that make them turn gray. Oh, all right. Come on. All right, tell me what else the doctor said. Well, I decided to drop in and see him tonight. I'm away home from work. You decided? Frank, look at me. You don't mean you had another attack. Oh, no, I didn't mean that, and I didn't. I, I just wanted to get his okay that I could make the trip to the coast. Darling, when he's already told you, Darling, you? if I let this deal slip through my fingers, there are lots of things here I would be very worried about. Is that Diane? Yes. She went to the drugstore before dinner, and when she came back, she slipped out again without telling me where she was going. I think I'll check on mm -hmm. her. The other girl in her class who... The girl who what? The one who's going to Briarmont College. Oh. Where did these come from? Oh, Diane brought them. Diane? Oh, you know about them then? Of course. It's a prescription I had her filled for me. Why, Frank? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Well, there's no mystery yeah. about it, darling. They're, they're sleeping pills. Dr. Hale told me to take. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. That, that's all right. I, I just saw them there. I don't know where they came from. Helen, hmm? yeah, about Diane. What about her? Well, you know, kids her age, sometimes they, they just do things on impulse. Darling, what are you talking about? Well, maybe you shouldn't be so final when you tell her that we can't send her to Briamount next January. We don't seem to have much choice. If this deal goes through, and I'm pretty sure it will, can't we tell her to at least wait and see? Just, can't we? Frank, darling, I don't understand you. Deal or no deal, Briamount is way beyond us. Diane's just daydreaming. I don't know. I, I'm awful worried about it, Helen. I, I really am, honestly. <laughs> when I saw those sleeping pills just now, and you said Diane had been to the drugstore. Frank, you mustn't think those things about Diane. Never think them. Mm. She's a normal, healthy little girl. But a little girl who hasn't quite grown up yet. But I've talked to her. So have I. She's desperate now, of course, but only because she hasn't grown up and because... Well, you, you did tell her you could send her to that college. Mm. Sorry you did, but it's a disappointment and that's that. I don't know, maybe sometimes when you speak with her, you're, you're just not as sympathetic. 
I told her the truth. And it hurt me even more than it could hurt her. Honey, when I took her out for a walk the other night, I, I realized just how desperate Diane really is. She wants something she can't have. And she has to go through the hurt of not getting it. It's a very real hurt. But Frank, Frank, she isn't the only one who's been hurt that way. When she tells me she's reached the end of her rope, that she just doesn't know how to face life. Did she tell you that? Oh, other things. Lots of frightening things. Hear that ring? Another gold medal bacon is done. And wait till you see what it is. Oh, no, no, don't open that oven door yet. I want to dwell for a moment on this minute when you, you open that oven door for your first look and you're so anxious as to whether this baking will look its greatest and, and taste its best. Well, of course. Why don't you take a tip from Betty Crocker, America's first lady of food? She helps success along by using gold medal flour always in all of her bakings. You want to see? For instance, this is her corned beef pie, made thriftily with canned corned beef and made wonderful with a tender gold medal crust. And this pie, a salad, and coffee feed the whole family. Corned beef pie is one of the famous dishes Betty Crocker had tested in home kitchens all over the country with gold medal flour. 73 homemakers rolled out gold medal pastry, and they baked the pies in their ranges. And all homemakers reported the same fine results to Betty Crocker, no baking failures. No baking failures with corned beef pie, and no baking failures with gold medal flour. And you remember this when you go shopping for a dependable flour. And remember all those homemakers who used gold medal and reported no baking failures. And remember too, this is the only kitchen tested brand of flour. Well, what do you say? Would you like the recipe for Betty Crocker's corned beef pie? All you have to do is write Betty Crocker at General Mills, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And it's sure good. <laughs> to you about something rather important. I'm sure you can't be asleep this early. Diane, if you don't answer me, I'll come in. I'm sorry, but we've got to have a talk. tomorrow when Valiant Lady will be brought to you by Prom Home Permanent. Today, Valiant Lady was brought to you by General Mills, the makers of gold metal flour, the only kitchen-tested brand. He's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. Cheerios. Yes, Cheerios, the only ready-to-eat cereal with this wonderful toasted oat flavor. Cheerios is made from energy-packed oats, made to give you vitamins and minerals you need for healthy nerves, good red blood, sound teeth and bones. Get your Go Power from a Cheerios breakfast tomorrow. He's feeling his Cheerios. Enjoy a love of life on the CBS television network.